Uh, today we're going to be looking at the DM200 series charge controller. Um, first we'll go what, over what's inside the box and I'll tell you what the configurations are. So in the box you'll find the DM200 charge controller itself. Along with it is a user manual for further instruction if you may need some more guidance. Um, yeah, so let's look at the charge controller itself. It has uh, uh, already it already has leads attached to it for your solar panel over here, um, and then there's for the battery as well, and then there's one for LED or it can be any sort of load that you want to attach to it. It also has uh, light indicators for your solar panels, batteries, and LEDs. Um, also, you can see it has a wireless connection on board over here. Uh, which you can use uh, the CUAL5. We recommend you use the CUAL5 for these purposes. And from that, uh, you can just uh, you can control the charge controller itself and also use it for the temperature sensor that is attached to the charge controller to sense the temperature of the charge controller environment. Apart from that, uh, the DM200 comes in a configuration of 200 watts and 24 volts, but also has a configuration of 100 watts and 12 volts, uh, which is the max load power that the charge controller can uh, tolerate. Uh, it has a heatsink attached to the back with the flush mount uh, screws that you can use to attach it to any drywall or cement. And yes, that is basically the DM200 charge controller along with the CUAL5 remote.